Tonight we have a tale of treasured music from an American jazz icon, an unknown recording until it was discovered here in Seattle a half a century later. N now a masterpiece by legendary saxophonist John Coltrane has been released for everyone to enjoy. This is so cool. The Cairo 7 legendary reporter Essex Porter took a break from retirement to bring us the story with photojournalist Mike Griffith. <laughs> Just revolutionizing the sound of the tenor saxophone. John Coltrane, an incomparable jazz artist. This critical moment in Coltrane's development happened here in Seattle. Coltrane playing his iconic jazz masterpiece, A Love Supreme. Mark Seals is a jazz musician himself and professor of music at the University of Washington. Coltrane was involved in especially from the late 50s and early 60s on the spirituality of music. Coltrane's music recovered from old audio tapes recorded in Seattle 56 years ago. This is a parking garage now, but in 1965, it was the Penthouse Club. And while John Coltrane was playing, Seattle jazz artist and educator Joe Brazil had his tape recorder rolling. Joe Brazil was a beloved jazz educator at Garfield High School and the University of Washington. The tape discovered by Seattle saxophonist and jazz historian Steve Griggs. So this is an example of one of the tapes. When he visited the home of Brazil's widow. And so this tape number five, well, it starts out with Joe Brazil's group playing a matinee set at the penthouse, which is at First and Cherry downtown. And he plays like three songs and, and then the tape cuts off and then the tape comes on again and it's the opening fanfare of a love supreme and so i was uh, just I, I it was beyond me to to process it basically i just get this raw powerful energy positive energy it's the only known live recording of the full 77-minute suite of music. He, 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 he sustained, he used these certain sounds in, in, uh, in his comping, and, and it was very unusual at the time. So they, they had a, a sound that was incredibly unique. For the first time, I was really overwhelmed and not only enjoying the music and how it's significant but kind of also feeling this responsibility like th this is historically significant I need to have this preserved and let get it to the right people to help. Griggs turned the fragile tapes over to Coltrane's old record company which spent six years enhancing the sound to create a love supreme live in Seattle. I feel it's extremely significant. I, I hope people get to enjoy what happened here. How great is that? That's awesome. <laughs> And thank you, Essex, for coming back and telling us that story. Boy, I've never heard a better case being made for spring cleaning. <laughs> it's just amazing. Now, you at home can send us your ideas for people, businesses, or organizations you'd like us to feature as part of Your Voices segment. Email us at yourvoices at cairo7.com.